This video is an introduction to referencing personal communications using the APA style 7th edition. Works that cannot be recovered by readers are cited in the text as personal communications. Personal communications include emails, text messages, online chats or direct messages, personal interviews, conversations, live speeches, unrecorded classroom lectures, memos, letters, and so on. Use a personal communication as a citation only when a recoverable source is not available. For example, if you learnt about a topic through a classroom lecture, it is preferable to cite the research the lecture is based on. However, if the lecture contained original content not published elsewhere, cite the lecture as a personal communication. In all these situations, you are citing notes you have taken. Remember to ensure that you have the author's permission to use their thoughts and ideas in your assignment. Because readers cannot retrieve the information, personal communications are not included in the reference list. They are only cited in the text. Give the initial or initials, surname of the communicator, and provide as exact a date as possible, using the following formats. Using a narrative citation format. When interviewed, W. Slominski, personal communication, January 23, 2014, confirmed, or using a parenthetical citation format, explained options for construction careers. W. Slominski, personal communication, January 23, 2014. For more information, see Section 8.9, Personal Communications in the APA Publication Manual, 7th edition. The APA Referencing Style Guide is available on the library website. For more information, please contact the library.